Hello happy people, welcome back to Nail Therapy Thursday. Today I wanted to make a dedicated video showing you all how I actually prep my nails for essentially any type of application, whether it's dip powder application, whether it's gel polish application, um, hard gel, acrylic, whatever. This is how I prep my nails for application. So first thing you wanna do is if you want to, um, you'll wanna clip your nails down to the size that you want. I'm actually gonna be applying like a jelly tip nail extension um, to my nails. So I'm actually gonna clip them down. Um, right now you all can see my nails are actually pretty long, but this is actually um, the nail that I plan to put on my nails. And so it's, you know, pretty long. And so I think it'd be better for me to just kind of cut my nail and let that, let this nail be the whole length. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you all what I do. The first thing I do is I just clip my nails all the way down. So I clip my nails off here. Okay, so all of my nails are clipped. I'm just gonna move those off to the side here. Okay, so once your nails are clipped here, you'll just wanna file the free edge to make sure it's not like jagged or anything like that. So I'm gonna go through and just smooth out the edge of all of my nails here. Okay, so as you can see, I filed the free edge of all of my nails here. The next thing I'm gonna do is um, push back my cuticles. And I just have a, I have a metal cuticle pusher, but you can use a wooden one, um, whatever is most convenient for you. And I'm just gonna push my cuticles back to kind of reveal more of that um, dead skin that might be on the surface of the nail. So I'm gonna go ahead and push back all of my cuticles. And what I like to do when I'm pushing back too is I like to rotate the metal cuticle pusher underneath it to make sure that cuticle is really exposed and lifted. So, so. Once everything is all exposed, then I'll go through with the other side of the cuticle pusher and just see what I can maybe be able to scrape off with my, my hand. I mean, see what I might be able to scrape off myself. And then I'm gonna go in with the cuticle bit after this and scrape off anything else that's remaining. But I like to try to do as much as I can first. And then from there, I'll let the cuticle bit clean up what I couldn't get. Okay, perfect. Now that that's all done, now I'm gonna go in with my cuticle bit and um, just kind of clean up the edge of my cuticle really quick here. So I'm gonna just keep that open here and grab this cuticle bit. And I'm just gonna go and clean around the edge of all my nails here. So this is the cuticle bit I'm using. It's a really small ball here. And this is actually a kit that I got off Amazon, so I'll leave that link below, but it comes with a variety of different heads. Um, and I got it mainly for this cuticle bit here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my cuticles really quick here. And I'm just gonna go over the surface of the nail that's right at the cuticle area, like so. And then I'm gonna actually touch the cuticle, like my skin itself to get any, kind of exfoliate, get any dead skin off that might be there. So just like that. Now that that is all done, I'm gonna go through and just dust away everything that I just filed off. 
so that out the way like so. And so I'll go through and I'll look and see if there's anything additional I need to do. Um, overall, everything looks really good. Um, I do see a piece here, like a little kind of a hanging piece here that I'm actually going to go in and just clip off personally because the cuticle bit didn't get that piece. I just have like this manicure set here. I always keep handy whenever I'm doing my nails. It has like scissors and cuticle cut cuticle nippers and things like that, even tweezers. But this is probably my favorite tool to use out of this kit and um, it's really sharp. So I'll just pull this piece up as much as I can and then I'll go through and just nip it off here like so. Yeah, there we go. And so now that's all ready to go. Just to kind of further clean my uh, nail bed, I am gonna go in with this little brush piece right here and just go ahead and clean under that cuticle area that I just did, just to get off all the dust and debris. Which I really like using this little brush thingy. I think I don't think people use these enough in videos because it's really helpful and it really gets all the debris out, like the stuff you can't really see. that and the last thing I want to do is just buff, lightly buff the surface of my nail just to allow for better adhesion for the nails and so I normally go in with a bit like this to just buff up the surface of my nail and I'm just gonna lightly touch the surface of it like this just run all over the nail just like that And you can see here, I still got a little bit of old gel polish on. That's something that this will always get off. So I never even worry about that too much whenever I'm removing my old sets. And then I'll go up the corner here and just run over the top of the nail really quick. Like so. Now I'll do that on this side too. Okay, so that just removed all of the shine from my nails. Okay. And then I will just take my manicure brush brush that off like so okay so that's after I've brushed off everything and literally the last thing I do is just, I just spray my hands with some alcohol and then I'm ready to go so I have a lint free wipe here and some alcohol and literally all I do is drench my nails in the alcohol and I just rub my surface until it's clean. This is to remove any oils and debris from the nail. And I do that to both hands. Like so. And that is it you guys so my nails are all filed buff shaped cuticles have been pushed back and cleaned and my nails are ready to go you all are wondering how I prep my nails for my videos this is how I do it um, typically I don't cut them down this low it just depends on the style that I'm going for like I said this particular set I am going to be doing um, some nail extensions and so um, I like to have my nails pretty short when I do that but yeah I hope this video was helpful again I use these cuticle bits um, these I actually got from Amazon I'll leave them linked down below but I really love these the cuticle ball bits because those really help with cleaning up the cuticle area I love this little fan brush I really think it's underutilized um, for cleaning up after you do the cuticle area and then this particular bit this cone shaped bit right here this is amazing for just lightly buffing the surface of the nail. It's not too harsh or anything like that. So, um, yeah, and I'll uh, play around more with some of the, you know, this needlepoint 
bit. I think that can get up underneath the cuticle area really well if I wanted to go in even deeper and clean, but I like to keep my stuff nice, basic, and simple, but eventually I'll get some use out of these type of bits and things like that. And this bit right here I actually use to um, shape my nails um, after I've applied any type of enhancement, whether that's uh, acrylic or gel or um, even dip powder. This is all about my nail prep. I hope this video was helpful and that you all got some tips from it. And um, let me know how you all prep your nails for uh, your sets. Um, let me know down in the comments below. I'd be interested to know, and I'm always open for more suggestions and tips. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursdays video. So if you like what you saw here, definitely stick around and join the happy family. I would love to have you. And as always, leave some love in the comments down below, and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye.